Hi, Griffin. Ah, somebody's mad. We got into a little briar patch. Um, Fallen. Got a couple beavers in it. I seen them the other morning while I was running traps. Uh, I had something pull out earlier. I don't know what the heck. I, I figured everything would be froze up. Everything else has been. So it must have got in early last night and ended up losing it. So, I mean, it happens. Another, I assume a coyote or a cat. I couldn't really tell. It, uh, there wasn't any tracks. There, so everything was tore up. So, but this is what we have here. It's just a pretty nice palm, but you can see these little buggers are tearing it up. So I'm going to, I don't have any caster, but some from the beavers the other day, well, I don't have any bought, but I have some I pulled out the other day, which I'm assuming will be just as good, if not better. Really could have used some 330s on this. We'd head it over quick, but hey, if you fall in and get wet, you're going to not be happy. It's going to be worse than the briar. But banks are looking a little tough, so I don't know. I'll try getting some sets in, get uh, get scents put out, and I'll kind of show you what I'm doing. I mean, really all I'm going to do is flatten an area out, probably right there where all them leaves are. Uh, set my trap, throw my drowner out there. Um, it's, tapers off pretty bad, so I'm a little worried about it getting them drowned real good, and there's lots of brush, but I'm assuming it'll get out there and get wrapped around, but yep, just going to flatten it out a little bit and throw it down. I brought some trail cameras, so I'm hoping to get that on film. Um, him coming up and taking it. So, well, we'll see. And there's a possibility otters could be moved in here. I haven't seen any in a while. There was a couple here a couple weeks ago when I was on this farm. So, did some remakes and uh, only got a couple days to run. And then I'll have to be done. The wife will be gone for this week for work. So, be, be a single father, won't I? Yep, not having. He's mad. <laughs> got the priors. But we're going to get to making sets and get... Uh, Keep rolling. We've got a few more on this property. Maybe we'll actually get lucky and have something in, but if not, it's still a good day. We've had a fox, possum, and a coon, and with everything being frozen, I didn't expect much of anything, so maybe tomorrow will be better. It's getting beautiful out, and it'll be good. really wish I could have some traps in the ground this week, but it is what it is, part of it, so let's get set so we can go home, huh? Yeah. All right. What are you doing to me? Button it. Oh, you're trying to button my pants? Yeah. Mm. That's a button it so it cannot throw down. Oh, thank you. Hey, you hang out up here while I'm getting in the water, okay? Alrighty. This should be a nice tangled up mess later. I'm hoping my steak will hammer down in there hey I'm telling you you get wet you're not gonna be happy about it buddy that thorn's gonna seem not so bad if you're soaked and we have to finish up the day oh actually went in maybe too good sometimes I'll use my foot heel spot out try getting it flat big enough area to put my trap in said I, I don't expect a whole lot in here maybe a couple it feels fairly flat there these drowner sets I don't have hardly anything in them so that's kind of nice but I think those guys that are using the rebar stuff is probably better on this kind of setup on the pond here I don't know though Oh, I'm betting we're going to have a live beaver in the morning, it's looking like. Maybe not, if he gets out there and gets wrapped up enough. Hey, hey, we walking all around that, okay? Right. You can go potty? Yeah. Well, go up on the bank and do it if you're going to do it. Don't do it down here. I'll help you. Give me just a sec. All right, let's go up on the bank. I'll help you. Come up here.
Are your hands touching me? Yeah, <laughs> my hands cold? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh. Alright. I touched touch your man. Hang out right there while I'm finishing up, okay? I'm about to get nasty here. Some of them oils on there. Should be, hopefully, all it takes. Guess it, uh, he's gonna think somebody's in here. There's Griffin's butt. Trying to move in on their stuff. I'd, probably a couple months out before they start uh, mating heavy, but I really don't know. I know March when they're plumb full of Chester and everything. as tall as I am. Branches as tall as you are? Yeah. How are we done? No, it's not. I, I'm pulling it down so okay. Hang out right here, okay, bud? Let's see, here's one of the runs coming in. Good one over there. They're using it too because it's all muddied up and everything. Griffin, I think about, about care less about the trap and the crew seems to like it, but I got a Griffin's like, eh, let it hang out. He likes going riding side by side though. Hey, no, hang out over there, bud. Okay. It's better stay up there. There's a hole right there. Yeah, if you fall in that hole, that beaver might get you and eat you. And then it goes, that hole takes us all the way up to the ground. Yep. I hope everyone's kids listen as well as mine do. Well, I'm in the water, bud. Why? Well. Uh-oh. Oh. That was a hard fight. And I need to throw what What is that? Is that poop? Me too, buddy. No. Smells like poop. Actually, it probably smells worse than poop. I love them. What? Love you too, bud. Oh, that's some nasty stuff out of a beaver. Where is that stuff inside? That's just these oils and stuff. You want to smell it? No. No. This is smelling. Poop. It smells like poop. Yeah, I don't know if it smells like poop. But it doesn't smell good. By any means. Let's see here. It doesn't look like a bad spot there either. I'm trying to figure out a spot that way I can run my camera and hopefully it catches any of the movement. Even though I'd like to be on down. <laughs> yeah, we'll just run on down so we cover it. I'd, like, I'd rather catch them and be done. Surely I can get one of them on it.
and just try it over there. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It's right here. See, I mean, they got a hell of a hole going up there. You can see the water being dirty coming out. So, they're certainly using it. I think this, this should catch one right here, I would think. This close to it. So, I'll probably hang a camera on this one and maybe the first one. nose is running oh dang tags getting a little roughed up need the bigger ones go back to the bigger sets because these are kind of rough to catch them on the back foot sets in hopefully at least a beaver hopefully both of them just three drowners I said 330s I really feel probably would have been the thing to have had here but I didn't bring any I didn't think on the pond I figured the drowners would be just fine but I think 330s would have been better Set some cameras, see what happens. All right, first downer set. Of course, the one I don't have a camera on it is ran down. Um, bad thing is, I was telling Mike, I uh, genius forgot my waders, so we'll uh, there you go, just can. Oh. Hopefully, this thing pulls in, we don't have to get around the tree top. I never did, did you? Mm -mm. Give me a sec. Hey, 
What do you know? Yeah. More work I wanted to do this morning. I knew the limbs were going to be rough on us. Are you kidding me? It's one stinking little man. All right, that one, I thought they'd be bigger. Everything looks bigger in the dark, so we got a few more sets. Hopefully uh, we got the other one caught and uh, it works better. How am I breathing, Andy? All right, let's move on. Okay. Beaver number two. That's a little one too. Real little one. I had a camera set on this one, so we'll see if that's pretty cool footage or not. See how that went. Good thing we're catching some beaver because my other uh, coyote sets ain't doing any good today. So we got one more trap. I think we can catch three. I hope. All right. Green eyes back at them. Um, set a pretty good spread last night heading in here on my buddy's place. Um, Man, he's got a serious predator issue, it looks like. My goodness. If I don't catch anything here, I may just have to give up. Although I drove past two sets on the way in here and didn't have anything. But, yeah, first night, I never expect too much. But I still think we should have connected somewhere on something. Oh, she pointed up, sorry. So, uh, what are we going to have today, crew? A bobcat. Bobcat. All right, well, let's hope so. I would be surprised if we don't have a bobcat or coyote or maybe a little bow. Although that's three sets went past now and nothing, so I don't know. Although these are on the main drag, but last year when I came in here beaver trapping, um, I seen a handful of cat tracks running down the main road, so we may just take a night or two. None of them look like they were messed with, so we'll bounce around and uh, see what we got this morning. Alrighty, got one. Figured this was going to be a good spot. Just a young dog, it looks like. Oh. Set right off one of these old roads. Got a high ridge right here. Came through. I showed this set yesterday, but I don't know if it's going to stay in or not. But yeah, first one of the day. We haven't rained very many, so uh, hopefully we keep on and uh, get a few more. Get See the old road coming through. So uh, just an intersection right here. Caught him. So And decent looking dog. So we're going to get him dispatched and uh, keep running. Well, that's not what was supposed to happen. Creek is extremely shallow. Drowner set did not work. He got her pulled back up here. We didn't either would have to put a whole lot more weight on it or uh, find something to, for him to get wrapped up around there. So, But either way, we got one of them out. We got a few more sets. So see what we can do. Decent beaver. So kid's running back for a 22 now so hopefully we can get him shot it kind of startled us i walked up here to look for my trap didn't see it and he goes there he is right there so but we're gonna get him shot and uh keep moving on all right another slider in here just got done with the beaver this might be an otter if he's in it oh something had her hung up a little bit but i think i see an otter tail I can get it to come in here. There it comes. Oh yeah, nice order. Good deal. Hoping to get a few of these boogers rather. Got some nice ponds on this place, so getting some of these little boogers out ain't gonna hurt nothing. Good thing we're at least catching some water stuff because it sure ain't been very good on the land trapping. It's so stinking hot and windy, but maybe we'll get the, get his mate tonight. So get a set back and we're done for the day. Go home and start skinning. <laughs> <laughs> 